have seemed troubled. Is something the matter? So there is. But you have nothing to fear from him. Not with the veil in place. Don't worry, it's totally harmless. Well, mostly. It just disguises your identity. Anyone looking at you sees slightly different features. You are not the first new recruit to arrive with... complications in the mundane world. The veil prevents awkwardness all around. Nobody in the mundane world, no. The veil only works on mundanes. Supernatural beings and the Void Touch can see through it easily. But that law enforcement officer? He will pose no threat. Very good. Let us proceed. Evening, sir. Who wants to know? Yeah, no kidding. This job can really take it out of you sometimes. I'll tell you one thing. You see a lot of bad people in this line of work, but it takes a special kind of nasty to torture a homeless shelter. Yeah, you could say that. Wouldn't be here if I had the choice, believe me. Yeah, a neighborhood full of corporate chains and they attack this place. Was anyone hurt? A few people killed. A lot of people with second or third degree burns. That is horrible. I won't argue with that. I was here when the rescue team arrived. They were carted off to Beth Israel Hospital. The people here, they don't exactly have medical insurance. That's how we're treating it. Until we know otherwise, we're treating it like a crime scene. Which means, stay back. I don't blame you. See ya. Hey, are you alright? You look a little... Where are you taking me? I'll do whatever you want. Just help me, please. Did you see that? I did. Neuromorphic projection. I've read the theories, but never thought. I think he's coming out of it. Are you all right? Yes, you did. We saw it too. A vision from your past. Well, your demon's past, technically. This area must have kick-started your brain into remembering. There was some psychic spillover. We could see it too. Yeah, psychic runoff. Try not to think about it too hard. This building the demon entered. It used to house the village eye. The newspaper? Didn't it go out of business a few years ago? Indeed it did. What was your demon self doing here? Agreed. We are wasting time. Right. Enough jabbering. Let's go. Well, that just figures, doesn't it? It is done. Be aware that if law enforcement questions me, I am compelled to tell the truth. <clears throat> it smells very... human in here. 
Looks like people were squatting here. Half a dozen at least. Wasn't there a homeless shelter around the corner? Why live here? It could be pride. Or perhaps they gathered here for a specific purpose. I'm guessing it wasn't a slumber party. That is... doubtful. Huh. Only one bed in here. Yes. This room was designated to separate one individual from the rest. Someone of importance, most likely. Or someone undesirable. So this room either belonged to a cult leader or a prisoner? Most likely. things, but don't they need electricity to work? I don't think the power's on in this place. What have you got there? An old fuse? Seems to still be intact. Do not be alarmed. That was just a lost spirit. What you would call a ghost. They are harmless. Good. You adjust quickly. Death is part of the mundane world. We do not get involved. Let us move forward. Ow! God damn it! Aren't you hurt? No, I'm fine. I tripped over. I have no idea. Can't see a damn thing. That's weird. Come on! Is there a problem? The darkness. It's fighting the light. It always does. I'm being literal. Whatever's down here, it's interfering with my magic. Smacked. It's a forest. A forest in a basement. Well, that explains why my fire's so weak down here. Probably a natural defense mechanism for whatever this is. Well, this just got a lot more complicated. Male. Early to mid-60s, I believe. The cause of death is difficult to determine. He's got vines growing out of him. I cannot say, but I believe the answer lies with you. Your vision. You were familiar with this building. Whatever happened here, you were involved. Or at least your demon self was. You don't remember anything. No other visions spring to mind. Don't apologize. It's not your fault. 
No doubt your demon covered its tracks well before leaving your mind. So, who is he? He has no distinguishing marks. He carries no identification. Whoever this is, it remains a mystery. It is a lost spirit. It cannot communicate. Are you sure about that? It does appear... agitated. Let us leave it be. Do these drawings on the wall mean anything to you, Mandana? I cannot decipher their meaning, but I do get a sense of... reverence? Reverence? Like worship? It is only a feeling. This wall drawing means nothing to me. Eli? Me neither. Although it's different from the art in the other room. How so? Outside it was more vibrant, colorful, more creative. It had passion. The art in here is just patterns. Patterns? You can see them if you know how to look for them. Interesting. I do not know what that means yet, but interesting. to lift a manhole cover with your bare hands? You never know. Maybe the demon gave him super strength. I guess not. Sorry. Are you lifting with your knees? Yes. Bracing. Fortuitous that I have kept up my training. At least the rain is washing away most of the smell. If not the heat, I am positively sweltering. I admit that my knowledge of sanitation systems is... lacking. But should this water be boiling? Uh, no. I don't think so. No. Then we indeed have a mystery on our hands. Be careful. The heat in this room is kind of off the scale. Eli Becker. Mage, accountant, and plumber. And sometimes all three. in that photo. This woman is not her. She's lost in her own world. Maybe we should just leave her alone. Where 
Where did you get that? The village I... I don't know what you're talking about. That is an obvious lie. Do I look like I care? Just leave me alone. I might not look it, but I'm fine. Tell everyone that Wendy is fine. You don't need to come out here and... Wait, it's you, isn't it? You've come back. Don't patronize me. I know who you are. You're the master. Don't play dumb with me. I'm not that innocent. At least, not anymore. You've done something to your face. You've changed it somehow, but I can tell. It's you. Curious. She can see past the veil. She must be void-touched. What touched? Void touch. It means... I don't give a crap what it means. And I don't give a crap about you either, master. Just leave me alone. I already know you're good at that. Why should I? Look, maybe you care, and maybe you don't. But it doesn't matter. Not anymore. Not after the way you left us. So get out of here. Take your new followers and go. Wait, followers? You heard me. You what? You're serious, aren't you? You didn't just leave us. You forgot about us. It's a bit more complicated than that, but yes. We are trying to piece together what happened. Can you help us? No, it's done. It's over. If you've forgotten about it, then maybe I can too. Just leave me alone. What do I mean? You left. Left us to fend for ourselves, and it all went to shit. Me, I'm back where I started. Others aren't so lucky. You never cared, did you? All that time, I knew it. I just didn't want to believe it. Shut up, shut up, shut up! Don't talk about it. Don't even think about it. Just don't. You can't prove a damn thing. I mean, whatever. Don't know a thing about it. That, that's crazy. You're crazy. You really don't remember anything, do you? You've even forgotten Jordan, your precious protege. Well, he's gone, no thanks to you. He and I were a, a thing, kind of. I, I don't know. We're nothing anymore. He's gone. He left soon after you. He's probably dead. Not that you care. Please, don't come back. Just so we are clear, we are not calling you master. 